So at the end of chapter 21, Varjak's fallen asleep again. And we all know where he goes when he sleeps. Chapter 22. Varjak dreamed. He dreamed he was walking by the Tigris. Zigzag palms swayed in the cinnamon breeze. The sky was vivid with stars. Jalal walked beside him, shimmering in slow time. Varjak breathed in, two, three, four, and slowed himself down until he felt the energy pulsing inside him. Only then could he clearly see how Jalal was moving. It was different to anything he'd ever imagined. I mean, all cats are graceful, but Jalal was a river of energy, like the tigress, flowing and changing itself at will. Your body, said Jalal, is but a part of you. You are more than your body. You can make it do anything if you know how. You can dodge any blow. You can strike any enemy. You can win any fight. I will show you how. For that is the fifth skill. And we call it moving circles. His silver blue frame started to twist into shapes as strange as those stars above. First, he made a soft velvet arch of himself. Varjak copied him and he stretched his spine as far as it would go and then a bit further. And next, Jalal's arch curved round on itself, became a fluid figure of eight. And Varjak followed him, made the move. It was a giant stretch. He felt pain, hot, white pain, but he felt something else as well. The energy that pulsed in his belly was changing into a new kind of power. And now Jalal's figure of eight melted into a circle, an endless moving circle. Varjak breathed in deeply and followed his ancestor. His whole body shook under the strain. But that power was building up, growing stronger, a warm flow, free and unlimited, a moving circle like Jalal. It felt like he was glowing. Good, said Jalal. Now the last movement. Open the circle. Let loose the energy. Take it outwards. Use your momentum to direct the force like this. Jalal's paw appeared out of nowhere. A whisker from Varjak's nose. He hadn't seen it coming at all. His eyes widened. If he could master this skill, he could beat anyone. Strike me, said the old cat. Varjak breathed, moved, opened his circle. Jalal arched aside a moment too late. Varjak skimmed the fur on his shoulder. A surprised smile appeared on Jalal's face. Well, he said. You have travelled far since first we met, Varjak Poor. But remember, you take enough and no more. No matter how tempting, you may cause harm only when your life is in danger. And his eyes sparkled amber like sunrise. Which it is! Now wake up! in the next chapter.